morning and welcome to Vlogmas. Uh, Bob needs almond milk. I just saw his almond milk in the garbage. <sighs> I'm sorry because I was just at both stores. Well, ordered from the Walmart one. It's fine. I'll make that happen. Anyway, good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day 22. Um, all right, it's Saturday. Bob had to go into work for just a couple of hours, sort of kind of last minute, sort of kind of, last minute things for um, him being off for the week. And I was gonna sleep in, I tried. It's six o'clock, well it's not quite, it's a little before six. This is the best that it could happen. So I got up, I don't know, 15 minutes or so ago and just started working on thinking through things. So first what's going to happen is I'm going to sit down, have some coffee, and edit the vlog from yesterday. Because <laughs> I haven't done that yet. That's kind of been the theme of the last few days is me editing the vlog in the morning before work. Or here, I'm just going to sit down and edit. I'm not, obviously not working today. So first that. And then I have to make the lasagna for Christmas Eve. I don't have to, I'm just choosing to do it because I have the time to do that today. Uh, and it's always better if you let it sit for a couple of days anyway before you cook it, so that and the shells. So today, oh I see I didn't take my afternoon vitamins yesterday. So today I'm going to make both the lasagna. That's a recipe that is um, kind of my own thing, so not one I'm actually gonna share. And I don't really know that I could share it because I've just changed it up so much from like, I, I couldn't even show you like a hand recipe because I've changed it up so much from what it originally was to make it my own. At any rate, it's I'm going to make um, Laura's spinach and artichoke stuffed shells from her uh, cookbook. And I am going, you know what, I'm just going to take three of those because that's not talking about my Lauren. And I need, I'm going to dust the house. Bob's going to vacuum when he gets home. And I'm going to clean the bathrooms. And make sure everything downstairs is perfect. And then at 5 o'clock we have the choir Christmas party. Which, as you all know, I'm on hiatus. But I'm still in choir and they all want me to come. So, I want us to come, I should say. So that's what's happening today. It's not too bad. It sounds fuller than it is. Um, <clears throat> so, and I kind of have, I obviously have plenty of time. So I can go at my own pace. I really would like to shoot some videos today. So I'm hopeful to get done and ready in time to shoot a couple videos. Yeah, I think that's about the, I think that's what you have to look forward to. So, look forward to, you know. So that's what's going on. But first, like I said, I'm going to have some coffee and edit the vlog from yesterday, get that up, and then uh, then we'll get, we'll get this day going. All right, so I had a little downtime. I edited the vlog, had some coffee. It's 20 after 7. It's time to get going here, people. No, <laughs> that's enough. That's enough being calm and serene. I wasn't even really. I was editing the vlog. But I wanted to share some gifts with you guys. So I don't know what, I, I'm, I'm going to open one and then I'll share it with you and then I'll open it, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I haven't turned the heat on yet because I'm going to be cooking and I know that I'm going to get warm so I threw a sweatshirt on over my pajamas. I look crazy, I realize. Whatever. This is real life, y'all. So Melissa from Melissa Parada, um, and if you don't know her channel, please check out her channel. She sent me a little package here. And um, I really like this line of products, and I don't think they have it all the time. So she very sweetly, um, for Christmas, sent me the Mary Kay Satin Body um, Shea Wash, the Shea Scrub, and then the Shea Lotion. It has just a really nice, this is the white tea and citrus. It's a really nice scent. And then, when I wish that I had had the camera on, because I opened it up and I went, aww. Because I, I like to get ornaments from places that I visited, and I didn't get one when we were in um, Arizona. And so she sent this to me. So I'm, I think I might put this on my tree in my makeup room just because it's, you know, like a YouTube friend or whatever. And then she sent me a very sweet card. 
and that and I did get some cards from you guys by the way that I totally forgot to show they're already now in the box with the other cards but I got some very sweet Christmas cards from you guys in my PO box so thank you for those I appreciate that and then this I want to share this picture this is their thank you card and she wrote thank you note to Stephen and I on the back of it so I wanted to share that with you guys and let me I'm going to put these away and then I'm going to open up another one Okay, so the next one is from Dana, who's <clears throat> a subscriber, and she had messaged me to let me know that she was sending this to me. This is the Trader Joe's, here, let me flip it around, other than try to hold it, the Trader Joe's Warm Vanilla Body Butter versus just the coconut one that I always use. So I'm excited to try that. Thank you so much, Dana, but I have to tell you um, what meant more to me um, even was the card that she wrote. So... Um, one of the things that she said in here is, I choose to spend my time with you, and I appreciate you. And that that means so much to me that you guys choose to spend time with me. You know, I, I realize that, um, especially on my makeup videos, I don't have the time that I used to um, to put into it. And, and that hurts my heart a little bit because I love it so much. But when I do put something up with people that choose to... Um, spend their time with me means so much to me. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for, for stating that so eloquently, Dana. I appreciate that. Um, okay, one more. And it's a big old box from Macy's, so hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the cutest thing ever. I put it up here so I can try to show you, and then I'll take it apart maybe and show you. But it's a batter bowl, and it's from um, Barbara. I just want to make sure I have her name right. Yes, Barbara. And look at... <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute and what's funny is I don't know if she knows that or not <coughs> excuse me but I make chocolate chip pancakes every Christmas Eve for um, my you know for my family particularly the nephews not everybody has chocolate chips but I make it for them and this is just perfect so thank you so much Barbara that I'm just I'm just stunned by this so it's um, a batter bowl and there's some holiday jam, some holiday syrup, some pancake mix from all from Stonewall Kitchen, and then um, a spatula. That's just let's see, yeah. That's just thank you so much. I can't even believe that. Wow. Um, yeah, you guys. You know, I realize I say this every time, but I don't care. You don't have to send me anything, and the when you. I mean, ever. Please don't ever feel like that. You're just watching, like I said. Spending, choosing to spend time with me means a lot. Um, but when you send me something or think of me, send a card, whatever, it just, it means a lot. So thank you so much. I had to pause my Christmas music so I could chat with you guys a little bit. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm making the spinach and artichoke stuffed shells. But what I do is make sure that I... I start out by grating all my cheese so then I can just kind of move through the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need to start my water boiling too. But I wanted to show you, in case you're curious, this is my favorite Parmesan cheese, the Belgioso Parmesan cheese. I don't know if you can get this everywhere. It's, a, it's made in Wisconsin, but it's my favorite Parmesan cheese. It's delightful. And then provolone. I use, the cheeses that I use are, all, are from our, a local cheese factory, DuPont, but <clears throat> provolone and there's mozzarella in this. But here's what I want to say. While a lot of recipes, um, it would, you know, it saved me time to, I, I'm cutting off the end chunk and having some for breakfast. Um, it would save time to just use the bagged cheese. Please don't do that when you're making a recipe like this or lasagna or something they put that coating around it and it just messes with it just messes with it um the only recipe that i had that i use bagged cheese in sometimes is one of the ones i'm going to make later i put bagged cheese on salad and that sort of thing but um the swiss cheese that i put into my reuben dip that one I always use the bag stuff. I don't know why. I think it once upon a time, I did it. It might have been last year or the year before. I bought cheese and shredded it. And for some reason, it just didn't, it wasn't, the consistency wasn't as good as it was when I used the bag stuff. So, I don't know. But generally for recipe, y'all, just to grate some cheese. Now, what I need in life is a box grater. <laughs> because I still use this thing. 
and it drives me crazy and that's not efficient i need a box grater but anyway there you go those are my thoughts on grated cheese i would give you guys an update it's about 8 30 bob just got home oh he's hear that that's the lovely sound of bob vacuuming a man vacuuming it's a beautiful sound isn't it i turned off my christmas music so i could talk to you i've been listening to some amy grant some roger Ritiker. Um, next up will probably be some Mannheim. So, so far, I've shredded all the cheese. And I have the internal mixture for the spinach artichoke dips. If you want, or not dip, spinach artichoke shells. And I'm about to make the sauce, the white sauce. So, but Bobby's in a really good mood, it seems like. So, that's good. Um, I think we all should be in a good mood because, A... I mean, in this household, I don't mean everybody. I, I understand that not everybody. This is it anyway. I just mean we're off. We're off for Christmas, and we have a little bit of a vacation. Except that I'm going to have to do some work on Monday, but that is okay. All right, so I'm going to make this roux. Get the rest of this going, but I thought I would give you a little check and let you know where I'm at. I did this here. I'm just keeping it from drying out. Is the cheese for the lasagna? This is ricotta and half of all those kind of cheeses mixed up, and then the other stuff goes in there once it cools, and then it gets stuffed in the shells, which I already have made. I have the water boiling for the lasagna noodles, so I'm going to get those going here too in a minute, but that's your current check-in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one comes Probably, in here. I'm going to clean the bathroom floor, you, the guest bathroom floor. You want to say hi? Go in there. You want to say hi or something? Hi. The catch of day! <laughs> half off other than going in next Sunday morning for maybe two hours. A week for you. I have, or we can have for you, I have a yeah. week. Well, you gotta play your plans and cookies right there. Oh, really? That's all I planned. I changed jobs, honey. Actually, I didn't plan it. I was only planning on taking this Thursday and Friday, but it just happened to work out that way. Right. Right, you missed, so. you just missed him singing, do you hear what I hear? But, you know, with copyright and all. He sounds so close to the original that I'm concerned about copyright. Yeah, you gotta be careful. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty, I um, can change my voice. Right. So here's what's happening. I have my noodles done, and okay. I have the shells done. Yeah. Noodles for lasagna, the shells for here. The, this, it's, I'm all ready to go to put this together. Yep. This one comes in here. There's space here. There's space. No, I mean, I need the whole kitchen. Right? He goes, oh, this is a problem. I said, what? He goes, there's no space for me. I have to do the pork rub. Like, right now? Yeah, uh, all I need is an hour, I probably. I just got to remember to do it. Well, I'll remind you. How about that? Well, that's been kind of scacy, too, lately. Scacy? Yeah. Is that, is that spacey and sketchy okay. at the yeah, same yeah. time? Yeah, that's scacy. I made up a new word. Oh, I need another. I've only had one cup of coffee today. That's a problem. Yeah, that is a problem. Yeah. So, all right, we're just cooking along here, but I just thought... We're cleaning. Mr. Games, say hello. We are. I'm cooking currently, and then I'll move on to cleaning. Merry Christmas. I'm in charge of dusting. Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm in a couple days. Unless you're going to dust. What? I said, I can dust unless you're going to dust. I got probably another hour or so in here. I got plenty of time. I got all day. Okay, then. I'm going to scrub the guest bathroom floor right now. All right. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to use to put the water in. Uh, I'm going to go help him. All right. <clears throat> I just want to show you guys. When I fill my shells, which look like this, I use the Pampered Chef. This is the medium scoop. That's what I find works perfectly. And I feel like I get a different amount every time. I always just cook the whole box of shells. But this time I got 24, 28 of them. So um, I, feel, I feel like I make a note every, think to myself I should make a note every time, but I feel like I get a different amount every time. It's fine. So anyway, that's what I do. And now I'm going to put the rest of the sauce on top, the cheese on top of that, and get it in the fridge, and then it's going to sit and become extra delightful over the next couple of days till I make it on the 24th. All right, I am done filming while well, I did a live with my makeup, and I just shot the Cooking with Kristen video. This is, this is what it looks like. I had this camera here trying to get the shot here, and this camera was on top of this to get the... Ugh. This is why I don't do them very often because it's a, it's a bit of a rigmarole. But this was an easy recipe, so it wasn't too bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So now I'm going to go shoot some beauty videos. And 
Yeah, then we'll see what time we end up at. I should probably eat something at some point today. I have not done that yet. Alrighty, it is 420 and we are leaving for the choir party at 5. Heidi, Jamie, and the girls are leaving at the same time. My parents as well, I believe. So I want to pull out, I'm watching the Patriot Bill game. I don't know why I have an interest in it, but I do. So I made the Reuben dip. As you guys saw, I want to plug it in here and let it start. I'm laughing at all that probably was me like this. Start warming up a little bit before we leave so that it doesn't take so long once we get there for it to heat up and people to be able to eat it. Um, this is the dish that I put the bread in. And, that, and then this is, um, I don't know if I show you guys, I got two sets of these and I was trying to decide if I am going to use one for a gift so I decided to use this as a um, hostess gift for Janelle since she's hosting. And uh, what else is I going to get? Oh, my little pamphlet shirt. Serving spoon. I'm going to find a little bag to take all that in. I am suddenly very chilly, like a little bit chilly. <laughs> I was under my blanket, so maybe that's why. So I did get an empties filmed, a boxy charm, and a haul. I still want to film yet. Here in the next few days, I want to shoot um, a brush review of those brushes that I got while I was traveling. And what else? Uh, oh, my Use It Up 2019 finale. So at some point here in the next week or so, I'd like to get those shot. Um, but I have a few videos now to put up, and I did the Cooking with Kristen video. So I feel pretty good. I've edited the empties video, and that's converting. I'm really struggling with, I don't know why, all of a sudden I didn't change anything. But when I bring in my footage, maybe I told you guys this, I don't know. But when I bring in my footage, because it's 1080 on my camera, it like stutters. It won't... <laughs> And I've tried every fix that I found on YouTube. It makes it really hard to edit. So I think I'm just gonna go back to 720 on my beauty video camera. It's fine. And it's not like it's it's not like 720 is you know 480 or something. It's it's fine. So <laughs> um and let's be real, I'm just doing giving reviews and that sort of thing. So waiting for hot water. Um I can show you the sun. And the skyline is really pretty. Well, you guys can see. You see how pretty that is? It's a pretty day. Or a pretty evening, I should say. <laughs> so Bob went to change. So he's ready for the concert. <laughs> for the con nope, not a concert. So he's ready for the party. I have choir in my brain, which he loves concert. And um, I'll show you my outfit of the night here. I'm going to put my lipstick back on. And yeah, so it's been a good day. I've been, it's been <laughs> for a day in which I thought I didn't have much to do. I certainly did have a lot to do, but I got a lot done. So I have left the dusting and the bathrooms, clean the bathrooms. Then I'll do that in the morning before they arrive. And we should be good to go. I'm going to have another sleep in tomorrow. We'll see. I'm going to try anyway. Um, all right, I'm going to tuck the camera in my purse and bring that along, or maybe I'll film with my phone, I'm not sure, but I'm trying to get a little quiet. <laughs>